This is Tom Podkolinski, creative director of Cornish outdoor clothing brand Finisterre. Tom and his team make clothes for people to wear after they've done things like this. Or whilst they're doing things like this. Lots of companies make outdoor wear, but what makes Finisterre different is that they're what most people would call an eco-brand. Their customers don't just want clothes that look good and perform well, they want them to reflect concern for the environment. Who better then, we thought, than Tom to tell us what eco-design's all about. You could liken sort of like an environmentally aware company to a really high fashion company in the sense that in high fashion everything has to be perfect like the fabric has to be the right weight the cut has to be spot on the details and accessories are always super super considered um, and it's a matter of taking that passion for clothes and cut and detail and applying it in environmental context you're actually looking at what's this here what is it what are, what's on this rack to tell the truth we weren't really quite sure what he meant so we decided to follow him round for a bit in a bid to find out and the first thing we came across was his samples library. Basically it represents me trying to organise the different things that we've been developing. The ones that you have here are kind of ones that are sort of like immediately relevant to the projects that we're doing. Some of these are kind of quite long term, some of these have probably been in hibernation for a couple of years to be honest. Um, Tom's continually on the lookout for new materials to add to his library and to find their way in they need to perform as well or better than existing fabrics, but have a lower environmental impact. Evaluating each sample means thinking about its total carbon footprint. Is it from a sustainable source? What chemicals, energy and other resources were needed to make or grow it and turn it into yarn? How far would it need to be transported to turn fibres into fabric and garments and then get the finished products to Finisterre's Cornwall HQ. Will it need extra chemical or physical finishes to meet performance requirements? And what will happen to it at the end of its life? Tom's search for new materials is something of an obsession. It's taken him around the world and also means he's been involved in a few little publicity stunts. If you're a fan of YouTube, you might have noticed sheep cropping up in some rather odd places. First there was Mildred, the surfing sheep. Then from out of nowhere a flock appeared in Savile Row in central London. Both events were part of a campaign organised by Tom and others to promote wool as an eco-friendly performance material, an alternative to man-made fibres. 